here with Gigi, the storyteller, one of my favorite people. Um, I got a chance to meet Gigi several years ago, actually, in Compton um, on her radio show, Hot Words Lyrical Theater. It was an exciting time. And curiously, we're in a similar position as I was maybe four years ago. You have a new book out that you released last year, if you can see it. Ghetto Gospels no. Diary, 30 Days to Faith, When the Difficulties of Life Come, Where Do You Go? And I think that that's an important question. Could you tell us who you are and what you do? Ooh, I am <laughs> a traveler in this realm, uh, just excited about all the creativity that has been blessed upon me, and I do it all, you know. I'm a musician, I'm a writer. Uh, recently, I've gotten into um, abstract painting. I love radio broadcasting. It's always been a passion of mine since high school. You mm. know, when I graduated in 1978. As a writer, I meet a lot of people that say, oh, I want to write a book. Oh, I have a book. I'm working on a book. I'm doing a book, 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 book. Why did it take 16 years? 16 years for me oh. to, and it's not like I didn't try. I showcased a lot of authors on my show and um, Hot Words was there for them. If they was having an event, book signing, we was there. And I saw their trauma because they had uh, publishers and they had publishers that they had to pay back. Mm -hmm. And I saw, <laughs> yeah, I saw the, uh, this one author, he was selling his books. I'm like, oh, wow, congratulations. And me and Lisa was there with mics and getting people to come on over to his table. And he sold many, many, many books. But all the money that he made went to his publisher. And at that moment, I knew I'm not going to have a publisher. I'm going to do it myself. Tried it in 2009. It did not work out good, but I'm glad it didn't because I became a better writer from 2009 to 2022. Three reasons. One, because of your encouragement. And what you write about authors and, you know, their power and, you know, getting it done, you know, stop talking about it, be about it. And then two, um, Liz, LGD poet, we made a pact in 2022 that, because we both had books that were unfinished and we both, we made a pact that we was going to finish our books. You know, in 2022, that's, that's number two. And number three, I don't care if people believe me or not, but I have a nephew who I love more than life itself. And he transitioned in uh, 2020. I heard his voice tell me exactly how he speaks. Print the book as it was written. Wow. Was not going to print the book because a lot of it is based upon Christianity as I learned it and, and as I went forth toward it with a passion and I have some different beliefs today they're still somewhat the same but but not you know and that's how the bible is it's the truth but they're kind of different you know stuff, yeah. terminologies Jesus Jesus the Christ and whatnot or whatever so I struggled with that because I did not want to put that propaganda back out there you know, I don't want to be another one because it was some more things that they needed to know. But as I read some of my poetry, I said, you know what? Knowing what I know right now is in, in spiritually and the Christ in you, I see that I still wasn't that far off. The only thing is I was directing everything out, out into the external to where now, today, I know that it is in me, the God in me. So that's what really helped me grow and to move on and just be this happy person that I am today. 